Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really grateful that I can show you this gorgeous wig. Now, this wig is amazing. It's Thin Candy. She's from Godiva Secret Wigs. And this colour is gorgeous. This is Almond Spice R, which means it's a rooted colour and it's an almond spice. So it's a gorgeous kind of, you know, I'd say this is like a ready blonde. You know, it's kind of got hints of red in and it's got hints of like a very caramelly, blondy brown colour. It's very beautiful. So it's like not brown, not blonde, somewhere in between with a hint of red. It's really gorgeous. So it gives you that va va -voom. Now, I love Thin Candice anyway because it's a long wig with a lot of hair, but it feels really nice. You know, it feels like it's just enough hair. It's very sexy, very classy, sassy. And there's many, many things you can do with her. So you can leave her the way she is or you can customise her to suit you. And I've left this one exactly as she is. Now, this is the length that she comes with. So she's very long. So if I show you from the side, you can see how long she is and how long she is from the back. But you can easily cut this wig. So if you get this wig and you think it's way too long, there's too much hair, it's got natural cutting points. So you can see that you could actually cut it there. You could cut it there. You could even cut it here if you wanted to. If you really wanted to dramatically alter this wig. And, you know, you've seen my other Thin Candice wigs where... I've cut them shorter and I've cut bangs in them and on the next video I'm so excited because I finally got it. I've got this wig again in um, ginger brown the way it comes and I'm going to show you the difference between Thin Candice the way it comes and how I've customised it with the bangs so you can see the difference which I'm really excited about. So the same wig, same colour, different styles. But there's many, many things you can do with Thin Candies. And as you can see, what I've done here is I've just put two clips in just to pin her out of my face while I've been working because she comes with this little bang. Now, I've got to decide if I'm actually going to trim this bang or leave it the way it is because, you know, I am liking it the way it is because I can pin it up and then it gives you that gorgeous kind of sleek, full-length style or, you know, you can just, it's a bit sexy with a little longer bang in. But, you know, if you wanted to put a proper bang in this, you easily cut. You know, you just drag your hair over like that and then you cut a bang in. And you could make her a long or a short kind of straight style with bangs. Or she's designed to have this little tiny wispy bang. And you guys have seen my other thing, Candice in Nutmeg F. If you haven't yet seen that, it's in the playlist. You can go and watch that in the wig reviews playlist. And I've just trimmed the little bang on that one. So all I did was grab the, the hair and I just, you know, in an upward motion, just cut a little bang in. So it just sits a bit better. But I've tried this one parted in two places and I love both. So, you know, this gorgeous wig, I'm just going to give her a little brush through here just to show you the colour. So look at this gorgeous colour. So if I show you in the mirror, you can see the gorgeous kind of almondy red tone coming through. And that's why it's called Spice, because it's got a little bit of something extra to it. You know, it's not all one colour. And I love how you've got these extra blonde bits around the face. Can you see here? So it gives it a little something extra. A little bit of va voom And, you know, I'm all about the red. So the fact that this has got a hint of red in it too. And it gives it that little bit of warmth and lift. It's just beautiful. I love it. And, you know, if you look at the top where it's rooted, if I show you this there, you can see how it's got that darker root. And then going around the face again, it's got this gorgeous kind of, you know, like almondy, caramelly blonde. It's beautiful with a hint of red tone. So look at the darkness at the root there. It is a machine teased wig, but it's very natural. You know, you can see how it looks very natural on your face. So it looks like your own hair, even though it hasn't got that lace front. You know, you don't need it with this one. And you, many things you could do with Thin Candice. Let me take my earrings out. Because she's just like your hair. So she feels, even though it's synthetic hair, it feels very real when you run your fingers through it. It's very light on your head. You know, there's a lot of hair, but you don't feel like you're wearing a big heavy wig because it isn't one. 
it just feels really natural and nice and you know there's many things you could do so you could easily bring around as a little side ponytail and put her in there you could easily put plaits into this or pigtails you could easily put it up in a claw clip you know there's many things you could do you could do it up and down you could do what i did where I just put a little clip in you can clip her there you could clip her there there's many many things you can do with candies and as I said, if you wanted to, you could easily cut a full bang into this like that. Or you just take over the little wispy bang that's already in there and you just cut that in. You know, you just cut that in. So it's whatever you want to do. Now, if I just bring down the parting with the brush and I just use my fingers, again, it's all it takes, your fingers. I can part it in a different place. So, you know, you're not restricted or limited to where you can part this and she looks beautiful like this too and that's why i'm in two minds whether to put a bang in it or not i don't think i'm going to to be honest yeah i may even just trim a little bit of the wispy bang you know but even still when a party like this it's exactly how i want it to be you know all i'd have to do is clip it back a little bit to just make it how i wanted it so if i was having it like that but the wigs are very clever, you know, they keep the style. So you can see how it just keeps its style. So even just putting a little clip in there, it helps it to remember what to do for next time. So I like it parted either way. And I've sewn wig clips into this wig. So I'm just going to unclip her. I've just sewn what, two clips at the front. And I'm going to take her off so I can show you in all the glory. So look at the gorgeous colour absolutely beautiful so you know close up you can see that little hint of red spice through it too so it's got a little ready tone but looking at the wig you know as it is you can see it's like a very nice caramel brownie blonde so you know it's kind of not not blonde it's not brown it's somewhere in between with all these gorgeous highlights and around the face you can see again you've got the rooted at the top there and this is how she is so you can see the little kind of wispy bang on this and look at the length so if I turn you the cap inside out so you can look at the cap itself you've got at the back the wefts which are really breathable and make it really nice to wear you've got the label at the back so you know where you know it is you know how to put the wig on right and you've got these little bra strap adapters that you just make tighter or looser to make it fit your head and then on all the Godiva secret wigs, you've got the ear tabs, which are very comfortable. Not like the Amazon ones where you have to cut them out or adjust them. These fit perfectly to your face. And this is an average wig, even though it looks bigger because there's a lot of hair. It's just an average cap and it fits me perfectly. And it's machine teased at the top. So you can see, you know, how well made the cap is. And I've just sewn my own two wig clips in there just to hold it at the front so it keeps the wig on. Very beautiful, Candy says. I love it. And you guys know that I love the short and the long wigs. But it's such a treat having long hair, especially in the winter time. You know, I mean, it's December now. So it's nice to be able to wear hair and to feel it around you, you know. Because when it's colder, sometimes we can get a bit cold. So wearing a wig is also like wearing a hat. You know, you get that comfort and all the hair around you and you look good at the same time. And I love these because, you know, I've tried these wigs with hats, you know, woolly hats and like a conventional hat as well. And they just fit really nice. So it doesn't stop you from wearing a hat or doing anything you want to do in the winter. So when you get your candies, you may want to just give her a little brush through. You know, I use a separate wig brush. This is the one I keep down here and then I've got one that I put in my handbag to travel around with and you know I've got a bigger one as well, I've got a wig comb. So I keep tools separate that I would use on my own hair or wear on, use on my wig because you know your hair, your own natural hair, you know even if you are just wearing it back a lot because you're wearing wigs it does get you know your natural chemicals coming through. So this is my own natural hair which I'm growing all the colour out of. And I'm just going to put it back in a low pony. So I'm just going to take the band around one, two or three times. On the third time, just make a little bun, which just anchors the wig. 
So that's how I prep my hair. It's very easy, very simple. It works very well for me. And, you know, you have the option of wearing Candice as she is, so you don't have to put wig clips in or a wig grip band on. But if you're going to be out and about and, you know, wearing it all day, every day, then you want to secure your wig. So wig clips are such a great option because, you know, they free up the rest of your hat. When you wear a wig grip band, sometimes you feel it because, it, you know, you've got your wig grip band on, which goes all around your head, right down to the nape of your neck. And it secures it on. So it's very secure. Whereas, you know, with wig clips, it perhaps just does it there or at the sides or wherever you put them in. And it feels very natural. It's just like putting a little bobby pin it. But knowing you've got that added security that it's going to stay on. Or you may want to wear a wig um, cap or whatever works for you. But I've just found in my own personal experience that the wig clips work much better for me. So if you're putting Candice on, it's a very quick way to put the wig on. You get your thumbs by the label. You're going to put the top of the wig about there and put your head into the wig. Tuck all your hair in and then flick it up. You're going to grab the two ear tabs and put them so they are central, you know, so your wig is on straight. And then you're going to lift it up to your hairline. So this is how it's done. Very quick. OK, so we're going to get the top of the wig there and we're going to put it over, tuck in the hair, flip it up. We're going to grab the two tabs, make sure they are straight. And then we're going to pull the wig up to my hairline, which is about there. And as I'm pulling it up, I can feel the wig clips that I've sewn in kind of coming up with it. So it doesn't pull my hair, but I know it's securing it. So when I clip them down, it's not going anywhere. So it feels very secure. Now you can start around your face just you know, brushing around your face or using your fingers to get it where you want it. Now, I do quite like this as well. So you could even, you know, boof it up a little bit and maybe have it in a bigger style. You know, you haven't got to just have it sleek and straight. It's however you want it to be. But you can decide where you want to part the wick. So, you know, we haven't put it this way yet. So let's do it this way and see if she wants to go over this way. So this is um, a right party. Even though it looks left on camera, this is a right parting. So does she want to part this way? So you can see, you know, I've had a middle parted, I've had a parted the other way and now this way. She will do what you want her to do because she's machine T. So, you know, you're in control of how you want to part this wig. But it's also nice to let the wig do what the wig wants to do. Because, you know, if I kind of say, OK, Candice, what do you want to do? She wants to naturally part here. You know, a lot of the Godiva's secret wigs want to naturally part over on the left. And, you know, if you've been a lady who's always parted your hair in the middle or on the right, it may just take you a little while to get used to it. It did for me. But now I'm finding the wigs look much better going the way the wig wants them to be. So this is how I wear it. Now, you can see I've put it on and now how this natural wispy bit, you know, has kind of gone into place. You know, because I've put it back on. So it's like the wig is going back to how it's meant to be. And you have the opportunity then with this little wispy bang here. If you want to just cut it into, you know, a shorter bang. Or you want to just have it like I'm doing it and just wearing it to the side. So she's gorgeous. So this colour is Almond Spice. And my goal is to get Thin Candice in every single colour that she comes in. Because she's absolutely beautiful. And, you know, one isn't enough because you think, well, I'll get used to wearing the one. But you want to experiment and try them in different colours. And if there is just one that you like, you know, maybe you like the ginger brown one and that's the only colour you want to wear, you could get a few of these and then customise each one. So, again, you could keep them on one the way it is. You could trim the length on one. You could put bang in one. You could do many, many things. And, you know, that's what I'm going to show you in the next video because we're going to do candies, thin candies together in ginger brown. I'm going to show you before and after. Because, you know, I love that wig so much that I thought I'm going to order another one and just keep it the way it comes. Because that other one that I got, I kind of cut it a bit shorter and I cut banging, which I love. But I also, not long ago, went out in my thin candies um, ginger brown, the one, the original. Uh, not the one I cut bangs in, one like this. And I just felt really nice because, you know, this wig, it's a lot like how my own natural hair used to be when I had it straightened because I used to have long, curly hair. And you can see when I take my wig off that my hair's still curly. 
but it used to be really, really long and I used to have it straightened and this was how it was, but in the ginger brown colour. Very beautiful. So it's great to be able to have hair that reminds me of how my hair used to be and it just feels really nice. But this is such a great wig, you know, if you haven't had long hair before and you've always wanted it and you haven't been able to grow it yourself or, you know, you haven't wanted to or you've got a certain length and then it's got on your nerves and you've just had to have it cut or, you know, you've got naturally short hair and you want to change, maybe you're thinking about a different look for Christmas time or for the new year, you're thinking, oh, shall I go longer? Just give it a try out. Well, I totally can recommend Thin Candice. I mean, I love all of their wigs. Thin Candice and Brute Wig are probably my favourite ones out of all of the wigs. Even though I love Faye as well. I love so many of them. You know, I can't get it pinpointed to one wig because I love all the different colours, styles and how they make you feel. You know, I really love Faye as well. You know, my Faye wig, even though that's a big shaggy wig. You know, they just give you different feelings when you're wearing them. So this is Thin Candice and Almond Spice R for Rooted. Again, I'll just show you how she is. So very sexy wig and, you know, this colour is really pretty as well. So let me know what you think in the comment section. If this was your wig, what you would do? Would you cut it? Would you leave it? Would you put a bang in? Would you wear it with clips? Would you put it up? Would you have it in the side pony? Let me know how you would style and do this wig. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.